Hi guys, it's Karen again and you're welcome to another video. Just get ready with me, nothing special. I am using my Sierra Beads lip balm because my lips feel dry. So I love this for dry lips. They are perfect organic cocoa butter lip balm perfect these are i bought on iherb they were relatively very very inexpensive i got eight of these in one dollar so whew, okay <laughs> next up is this one this is a primer from maybelline face studio prime anti-redness primer and as much as i'm trying to finish it it just doesn't want to go anywhere. I don't know why. So I'm taking my damp sponge and just applying it where I have redness in my face, which is my cheeks and my chin and my nose and tiny bit forehead, but mainly my cheeks are making a mess and are red so let's a foundation and i'm using l'oreal inflammable 24 hour fresh wear this is honey 235 oh that sounds like it's going to be over hmm, i hope that my lady makeup order will get here before it will be over and two pumps of the Revlon Candid in 220. I ordered 220 and two, two, 220 and, two, and 230 from Lady Makeup, the Revlon Candid. I'm talking about the Revlon Candid. I'm anxious to t try the 230. And I bought another one from the 220 just because I have a lot of colors that are too dark for me. And I use the Revlon. To make them lighter like this one for example from l'oreal if i'll use just the l'oreal it will be too dark for me and if i use the revlon the 220 on its own it's too light for me so the combination of both of them together is just perfect they both have very good formulas the l'oreal is a bit runnier the Revlon is thicker and I think that together they're doing a great job and I don't have the makeup stripe here so I'll just very very lightly even though there is no stripe oh what did I do and it looks flawless very very high coverage if you can see very high coverage and I love using both of them together okay for concealer I have the baby brother of the foundation this is the foundation this is its baby brother the concealer in the shade uh, 030 and I'm just dotting the inner corner outer corner inner corner outer corner i don't like to exaggerate with my concealer and i do like to let it sit for a while and then it's easier to uh, apply it so i'm just applying this essence you better work eyeshadow primer taking a tiny bit on the back of my hand well not such a tiny bit uh, i don't know it looks like a pea <laughs> less than a pea and applying it above on my lid and above the lid as well very simple and this eye primer is supposed to be waterproof and gym proof and it's not really gym proof i don't know about waterproof I didn't try to swim with it, but I did try to go to the gym with it and 
no it was running in all, all over my eyes and that wasn't really wasn't a great feeling okay now the concealer I'm tapping it in firmly okay this is a different technique than the foundation the foundation I am softly tapping it and with the concealer I'm firmly tapping it in and then it absorbs inside and it feels better and this Revlon candy one is perfect I love it as a concealer it's really good when you have those little wrinkles under your eyes it does set in the wrinkles as I said before if you're over 40 and you have wrinkles under your eyes you know the only thing the only thing that can work is surgery or injections or skincare will not heal that and concealer will will not do anything so we our aim is to have as less materials possible under the eyes so there won't be a lot of material that sinks in those fine lines and this is the reason why i always dot one dot in the inner corner one dot in the outer corner it's very important and also in a second i will do well in two seconds i will do the powder and i use a very 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 light light hand very small amount of powder under my eyes and on my eyelids just because of that so it won't get in those little fine lines now brows i'm using my elf uh, instant lift brow pencil in the shade taupe and i'm going to follow and use my essence this is the I always forget the name i don't know why lash and brow gel mascara and i'll be right back i'm back with brows you can see them i do have brows <laughs> and now i'm going to curl my lashes this is a lancome eye curler and just very very simple there's nothing really special about it I just want my lashes to be a bit curly and if I won't do it now I will forget to do it later so I'm just do you see difference I don't know that's powder I'm using my essence mattifying compact powder in the shade 11 pastel with beige um, I'm taking my small brush on the side and tapping up all, most of the access because I want to apply it under my eyes a very very thin coat as we just discussed and my eyelids as well again thin coat of powder next is to powder my face and I'm taking my huge brush and just tipping it all over my face now I'm not going to be outside today I'm not going to put on my mask so it's okay I don't need a lot of powder and I don't need any special uh, mask treatment to my face. Next up are the cheeks and I have this Cheek to Cheek by Everyday Minerals and it looks like this. It has one bronzer, I think this is the bronzer, yeah, one bronzer, one highlighter and four shades of blush. So I'm going to start with the bronzer. Oh no, this is the bronzer. So the bronzer was here. Sorry. This is the bronzer. This is the highlighter. And these are the four blushes. So let's bronze first. And I'm taking my bronzer. This is how it looks like. Okay. And I'm just taking the lid. 
and I'm applying some of the bronzer on the lid, taking my brush and taking off the access if there is and just applying it to my face. This is a mineral based powder and I love those and this gives me a very nice color to my face and I do always take off the excess I love to add and not to blur too much to hide if it's too dark so I'm just applying it to the perimeter of my face like so simple and easy and this is a very nice color well I imagine this color can work on anyone it depends if you're using if you have a lighter skin use less material if you have skin like mine use more material so I don't know if it works if you are really really dark okay let's take the oh, not before the highlighter let's take the blush and this is the orangey blush, it's called All Smiles. I don't know if I tried it. Yep, I already tried it. Let's just take out the blush on the lid. Take my blush brush. Oh, very orangey. Take off the axis and add some beautiful orangey color to the lips, cheeks. Did I say lips? I definitely meant cheeks. And now let's highlight. These are very, very cute, but sometimes they don't close. And highlight, the highlighter name is Sheer Honesty. <laughs> A very pretty name and let's take the blush brush blush no this is a brush and you just lightly add I'm going to add just a tiny bit of this highlighter and yep that's it now we have eyes left and lips and we are done. Next up, eyeshadows. And I have these two from Colourpop, Aura and Out and In a Trance. Beautiful shades. What happened here? I don't know. Okay, so this is In a Trance. And this is Aura and Out. And I love the fact that these are magnetized and you can take them out. And if you want to switch and change, it's possible because these are magnetized inside. Okay, so these are the two palettes. Which one will I use? Well, let's use both. Let's use these two green, blue and these two blues here. First of all, I'm going to use this color here, this here in the inner trance. This is called Future Self and I'm going to apply it to my crease. And just above my crease, sorry. I meant above my crease. And I'm just applying it above my crease. And it's strange because I'm sure that I used powder. It doesn't feel like I used powder. Maybe I didn't put enough powder. That's possible. Because it's not stuck. It gets stuck. I don't know why. Because I did put some powder. I don't know why. Okay, on top of it, I'm going to take this color from the Aura and Out. This is called New Age. And I'm going to add it on top of this beautiful light blue. And this one has more of a shimmer. The first one was a matte. 
this one is more of a shimmery color and this one now I am in a trance in hour and out <laughs> okay next up I'm going to take my brush this is the spectrum a07 brush and I'm going to take this beautiful uh, blue color from in a trance it is called tranced dance okay and I'm going to pack it to my brush and apply it to my outer corner like so whoa this is so pretty I haven't used these palettes for a long time I was stuck in the Nikki palette for a long time and I still feel that I can create more and more looks using the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette but it's time to use other palettes in my collection and not just Nikki's okay so this is a very pigmented color well turned out different than I thought it will be but that's the beauty of it and now we're going to use vibes which is this color here and I'm going to put it oh it has a lot of fallout oh my god look how much fallout there is I don't know if you can see yeah a lot of fallout so dust off the access and I'm dusting off the access and there is so much access <laughs> Okay, let's apply it to the inner corner, like so. These are very pretty palettes. Some of the colors are easier to work with than others that I found and there is a lot of fallout even though I took off the axis whoa look what an amazing color oh it turned out bluer than I intended okay and I have a lot of fallout let's take it out just taking my brush taking off the fallout let's take the little a little mirror and we will see close yep lots of fallout and not good fallout hmm. no, not good and taking my bronzer brush and trying to remove some of this blue from under my eyes Okay, much much better okay now let's do the lower lash line and I can use the leftovers that I have on the brush this is the color uh, this was this color here the blue color tranced dance yeah what a nice name and I'm going to apply it in the outer corner of the lower lash line and same on the other side and if I need more material I just apply a bit more and take off the access of course what a pretty color and I'm going to take the access that I have from vibes and there is a lot of access and add it to the inner corner like so and I'll dip in a bit more, take off the axis. Wow! <laughs> well, I definitely need mascara so quickly. <laughs> it looks okay, let's close these beautiful palettes I love them they are gorgeous 
So our right now, the Nina Trans by Colourpop. And let's do mascara very quickly because it looks weird without my lashes. And I'm using my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And I'll be right back. I'm back with mascara and this is the final eye look. What do you think? I think that the combination between both of the eyeshadow palette is just divine. Look how pretty it is. Wow, I like it. Well, if you can see, it looks pretty. And I love it. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> okay, next up are the lips, and I'm using this Maybelline ink crayon this is in the shade 15 and this one doubles as a lip liner and a lipstick so well i need to take out a bit of the lip balm so i'm just taking it a bit with my fingers and you can see that it doubles as a lip liner it's very hard to apply something on the lips and stick, so... Okay. What a perfect shade. Very nudie. Well, it suits the eye look. I think it turned out beautifully. What do you think? Hmm. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about the final look? <laughs> I think it turned out beautifully, but I'm biased, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about this look? What do you think about my hair? Hmm, should I keep it like that or straighten it? I don't know. I think maybe I should straighten it. It's too puffy and out of control. Definitely out of control. <laughs> okay, that's it from me now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Look at my thumb, it's up. And <laughs> give it a thumbs up. If you're new, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.